we were looking at different spots all around the city and the one thing that we decided that we didn't want to open up on Magazine Street or the Central Business District or the French Quarter. We wanted to go to a neighborhood that needed a restaurant. And then we found this little spot and we looked around and honestly we, were like, we felt really good about this place in Mid-City. When we walked in here, we went, oh shit. I think that if we can garner the locals that we can survive. We wanted to own this place from the start. And of course, what happens the first day of the shutdown during the pandemic, we get to buy the building. We closed on the building the day the shutdown happened. So I remember waking up and it was a Monday morning and I had opened up my news feed and started reading about what was going on. I called Amanda immediately and I said, what are we gonna do? We shut down the restaurant that day and then we sat down as a group and we talked about how we were going to move forward safely. We closed one day to essentially dip the restaurant in bleach. Every single little thing, we wanted to be legal, but we also want to keep, keep our restaurant open. We just banded together and we went, we're not stopping. We're just going to keep going and we're going to stay together. And we've got to believe that somehow this little restaurant is going to make it. And that's what we did. That's exactly what we did. We were scared as hell. We're still scared. The one thing that we knew we, were, we wanted to try to do was continue to feed our neighborhood and our community, which initially started with just to-go food, but grew pretty quickly into providing family meals to anyone who was hungry. Family meal before the pandemic meant you got to eat before your shift. It meant that as a staff, we came together as family and ate a meal before working it out and grinding it out for the guests. So we normally do eight in the morning, eight uh, at night for just the normal staff, even before these times, you just have a family meal in my restaurant. I think it's very important. And so one of the employees called Chef, I'm coming up with my meal, but my roommate, he got laid off too, and they're not feeding him. Can you make like one extra meal? I'm like, I, you tell everybody in that house they can come get a meal. So from making 15, went to 20, went to 40, went to 50, and at its biggest, family meal was at 500 a day? Close to 500 people. Close to 500 people a day. New Orleans, it's one of the few cities that bands together and it helps each other. It's really important to me because it's, it's a family. We've all bonded together. It's kind of like brothers in arms at this point. We've all worked together to get through this. I had been isolated with the children for two solid months, and I finally was like, I have to go up. Like, I need to be there. I need to go. And we were all socially distancing on the patio, the entire staff, and I'm just looking at this building, and I was looking at the wall, and I was just sitting there, I was like, we're gonna paint a mural. Like, a love letter to the city. Like, the things that have happened here over the last couple of months. And I want the neighborhood to drive by and, and smile when they drive past the building and know that, like, we are rooting for all of you. That part of the city is actually really important to me because I grew up going to see my grandma down there. She lived on Wilson Drive, and we used to walk to Pandora's to get snowballs, and I remember that building, and I was super interested because I knew it was going to be a big mural. I reached out to Amanda, got to talking with her, kind of figured out what they were doing as far as the family meals. I had no idea they were doing any of that, and I thought that was super cool and admirable. I gave Zach some direction. I said, look, I want Poppy's on there, I want Ivy's on there, because those are our two daughters. Isaac's the gator. And the hands were very important because, and that was his idea. I was telling him about family meal and why we wanted to do it. And he was like, I've got an idea. What if we had a hand handing a meal to another hand? I was like, I love it. It's really just about the exchange of food. They were super interested in having it really swamp-based. Like Isaac is deep roots in Acadiana, and like the alligator is a big thing about it. Like he's got that big alligator tat on his back. I just love it, and I love seeing all that color there now. It's super cool. This mural that they painted just added a flair to the neighborhood that you really can't, you can't imagine. 
I think people are talking about it. I think there's a little bit of a buzz going on about the mural. You know, there's so much focus right now on what's going on in the world, and I think it's just bringing joy and a little diversion. In such a, you know, weird time, it's nice to have something like that. It's like we have a new landmark in Mid-City, you know? We have a beautiful new landmark in Mid-City. There's not really a whole lot of other places in the world I would rather be a restaurant tour than New Orleans. The culture of eating down here is second to none. I've been not all over the world, but I've been to a lot of places, and there's no place like New Orleans.